XCA maybe right in the back so that they have an advantage. I can't get away from them. I gotta follow them. But we're gonna have a good day. I'm gonna save some juice for later to turn this camera off. We've had an extremely boxer oriented day. Our tigers will prevail. We're gonna have an awesome time. It's like leg three. I lost my wind sock on my bike, so I apologize for the last few feet being a little, a little windy. It is a nice little day out here today. We'll sit down with our luxury of heated seats, heated grips, auxiliary lights, adjustable windscreen. <laughs> Rock out comfort with our APS and traffic control. Ride by some bikes are going further right now until we get on the road. we made it to Covington. We saw our beautiful trek through the mountains and the back roads up 220, crossing awesome bridges with water so cold looking flowing underneath. And now we're just about a mile shy of uh, getting onto the dirt. Scorpion Yukon gear has been fabulous. I'm wearing the Tempest gloves, the Yukon jacket, Yukon pants. I got me some old fox boots on right now, but I'm warm. And I'm not wearing anything but my Moto Men t-shirt underneath this. <laughs> Actually, I have my moisture wicking summer race liner underneath of everything because I've been so warm in this suit when I would be putting extra layers on and not open up the vents, just keeping everything fully closed because it's been 40 degrees, 30 degrees here and there. But yeah, this thing is rocking out. Unfortunately, my battery wasn't charged fully on my Cena 10C. I'm gonna just have to get two, and I'm gonna try an experimental power pack plug-in and see if I can ride down the road with a power pack plugged into it and vlog for freaking ever, because I can put a 64 
gig card in this thing and record for hours on hours on hours. The only thing that holds me back is battery life. Then we're going to play with our little GoPro. We've already got ourselves selected for off-road. You can see a little trash control light flashing. ABS light there flashing. We're ready for off-road. Got our Kenda big blocks. Air down about 27 pounds front and rear. It's been handling great on the street at that pressure too. We were doing everything from urban to highways to interstates, uh, back roads, curvy mountain riding. Everything's been hunky dory with my Kenda big blocks. I'm gonna say everybody else is they got some Pirelli STRs up there. We've got some Shinkos on a couple dudes' bikes. We're running some Torrances probably from Hank up in front of me. I would say he's probably running Torrances. Looking the old hot beam. And I think up top we're maybe on some Anarchies and probably TKC 80s from our homie. <laughs> Should have popped a little wheelie for him. We wanted him to three cylinder of the Triumph motorcycle as it blasts past him. Going five miles an hour. Brrrp, brrrp. And here we go. Start out with some thick gravel. So focus on our. Oh, this is actually some well packed gravel focus on our tiger crouch and tiger position that we learned out in the Moab and Mojave. The Moab does it out in tiger training. And I saw that individual, God, I can't remember his name. I saw him doing a training seminar on YouTube and it was flowing through some of my videos and he came up talking about some tiger training and offered riding skills. After one of my videos, I thought that was super cool. I'm probably going to vlog this out as long as I can, see how long this battery has in it for this last little setup, and then that will put us in a position to utilize GoPros. I'm going to throw a drone up later on once we get a nice good spot to do that. Good, so I can lock up the rear. Test all of our electronics before we go out there and play too hard. Beautiful creeks, golly. So I hope we get more and more club membership and exposure to these back roads with our friends. So this is just a road that anybody can go out and find and there's people that have ridden it like Chip and Mike. The rest of us, this is our first time on this particular road and this particular leg. Beautiful creeks. Nice foliage, even in the middle of winter. Because it is January 6th today. I'm pretty sure it's the 6th. Got to get a boom cover back on my little windsock back on my boom here so I can keep the clarity because I've noticed the quality of my videos ever since I lost that's gone down. I put one on last night. Then rode the Tiger home after a late night delivery of a GSA HP and got home and it was gone again. I needed to zip tie it on. I guess it was a little wore out one. So good. The tiger's three cylinder power. It's gonna spin any tire. But it's tracking well with the Kindles.
All right, so this is going to be my outro. I filled up the SD card on the GoPro. We did a little intro with the Cena, so we got another stop we're going to make on the way out of here. That's going to be a nice, beautiful waterfall, an awesome opportunity to throw the drone out and get some cool footage. Get the bikes, the pilots, the waterfall, the mud. Oh, it's been rainy here for, I don't know, three months. <laughs> it's been a wet, 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 wet winter and fall, so we had some slippery, muddy situations back there. You saw at the start of the last GoPro shot we BMW action. Today we're rocking out the new Kenda big blocks on the truck. Discovery route or back road discovery route. BDR. Go out and ride it. 